Okay, so the other day I tried making milk buns because apparently they're Oikawa's favorite food and uh, being the fan girl I am, I obviously had to eat the exact same thing that a fictional character likes to eat. Uh, I'll be back to the usual texting videos, but yeah, since it's still Haikyuu related stuff, I thought I'll post it anyway. You'll need butter, flour, milk, dry milk, salt, sugar, and yeast. Measure the milk and then heat it so it's slightly warm. Add the yeast and, I don't know, I assume you're going to mix it, but I have no idea because I've obviously never made that kind of food before. I use a bread machine. But next time I'm going to make it by hand, so if you don't have a bread machine, just wipe those arms. Uh, add all other ingredients, minus the butter, and then start kneading. Kneading? Um, I have no idea how that's pronounced. Oops. Do it for like 10 minutes or so. Then add the soft butter and continue it for another 10 minutes. Then let it rest for one and a half hours. It'll be fluffy as heck, and here's my first mistake. Put it on baking paper. I think it's called baking paper. Uh, I didn't have any, so I used this alum aluminum. Or I didn't have any, so um, it was pretty sticky. Don't ask me what I'm doing here. I think I wanted to kind of part things evenly, but I ended up ripping it apart anyways. I'm also unsure how exactly to make them look pretty and cute. Also, I would advise you to make the milk buns a lot bigger than how I made them because. They will turn off fluffier if they're bigger, at least I think so. Uh, so yeah, I I made them into this really ugly small ball shape, and then yeah, and then I let it rest for another hour or two. Then my cat stepped on my fluffy buns and made them even uglier. <laughs> yeah, they're really kind of ugly. So I went out to buy baking powder and moved them and here's mistake number two. Do not touch the fluff balls anymore. They will defluff and I'm not sure if that's a word but they will not be fluffy anymore and they get really wrinkly and small and even not clear. Sprinkle some flour on top and bake for 15 or 20 minutes. Sadly they did not really turn out great and they were not fluffy which was probably my fault for touching and moving them around but they were also not sweet enough. They they tasted like bread, which was not bad, but you know, it wasn't really like a fluffy milk bun taste. And I'm working on the perfect milk bun recipe, and I will share it once I've managed to come up with something better than this.